happy Thanksgiving for the Raiders. The team came away with a big win in Dallas tonight, celebrating an overtime thriller against the Cowboys. Fox Five Sports Director Kevin Bollinger is with the team in Dallas and has highlights and post-game reaction. This looked like a totally different Raiders team than we've seen in the last month. They played loose and with confidence, and they come away with a big win in a wild Thanksgiving Day game here in Dallas. Thanksgiving Day in Dallas and the Cowboy fans were all fired up. So was Josh Jacobs, who has the special Charlie Brown cleats for this one. The Raiders struck first and struck quickly. On their third play from scrimmage, Derek Carr to Deshaun Jackson, and he navigates the sidelines and goes 56 yards for the score to quickly put the Raiders up 7-0. Dallas answered right back with a 75-yard drive, capped by Dak Prescott to tight end Sean McKeon for the score. The point after was no good, so Las Vegas remained up 7-6. The Raiders extended the lead late in the first quarter as Josh Jacobs ran it in from a yard out to extend the Silver and Blacks lead to 14-6 after one. Las Vegas had another nice drive working midway through the second, but it stalled inside the five and Daniel Carlson booted a 22-yard field goal to bump the lead to 17-6. But the Cowboys put together an 86-yard drive just before the half. Finished off by Ezekiel Elliott's one-yard touchdown run. The Raiders' lead was 17-13, heading into the break. Midway through the third, the Raiders put together a nice 75-yard drive. Marcus Mariota comes in at quarterback on first and goal from the three, and he takes care of business himself. Las Vegas was back up 11 at 24-13. But on the ensuing kickoff, Tony Pollard takes it up the sideline 100 yards to the house. No one was going to get him. The Cowboys went for two, but Jonathan Abram would make a great play. The Las Vegas lead was five at 24-19. Late in the third, Carlson connected on a 46-yard field goal. The Raiders were up eight heading into the fourth quarter. Both teams exchanged field goals, and the Cowboys got the ball back down eight with 341 left, but went 69 yards in just 47 seconds. Prescott hitting Dalton Schultz for the score. Dallas got the two-point conversion. They tied the game at 30. The Raiders answered, and Carlson boomed a 56-yard field goal to give Las Vegas the lead back with just under two minutes left. But Dallas didn't fold. Greg Zerline would tie it up late, and this game was headed to overtime. Dallas had the ball first, and the Raiders' defense forced a three and out. The Silver and Black got the ball back on a third down play. A flag was thrown for pass interference, one of 28 penalty calls in this game. That set up Carlson for the game winner, and he is money in the bank. The Raiders come to Dallas, and they knock off the Cowboys on Thanksgiving, 36-33. to I felt like we showed the heart of our team today. It really did. Uh, you know, to fight like we did, you know, for them to go down and score and us respond, uh, I really feel good about, you know, the character of our team. Every win feels feels amazing. Um, just just winning uh, the way we did I mean, in overtime and with Daniel, sniper Daniel Carson hitting that field goal, it's just, it, it gives us life, man. We trying to keep it going. For our whole team, everything that's going on, for us to be able to bounce back, it says a lot about the football character, character of the men. And uh, is Josh here? Josh not here. But to an no. But to answer his question, like, you know, that's why I believe, you know, that, that we can do, you know, keep going and make it a good run. The Raiders now get what's really a mini buy, as they'll get the entire weekend off and not get back to the building until Monday. That's when they'll start preparing for the Washington football team, who comes to Allegiant Stadium a week from Sunday. With the Raiders in Dallas, Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.